for a closer look at this battle and the wider war. Our chief foreign editor, Rob Parsons, joins us in the studio. Hello, Rob. Hi. Uh, what do we know about the humanitarian situation in Kherson right now? And if Ukraine is close to launching an attempt to retake the region? The, the honest answer to that is not very much at the moment because we're, we're facing a situation of smoke and mirrors from the Russian side uh, and from the Ukrainian side, a virtual blackout on, on information as they try to disguise what they're doing militarily in the area around the city of Kherson. We know that the Ukrainians have certainly made progress over the last few weeks, but nothing like uh, nothing like the speed that they were making progress, say, a, a month or so ago. Uh, but th what they're doing is they're pressing the Russians up against the Dnipro River, big river behind Kherson. Uh, and the, quest the dilemma facing the Russians, and this is what this is all about at the moment, is should they stay uh, and fight for what is an important gain for them in this war, one, one of the few important gains, Kherson City, or should they retreat? And if they retreat, uh, what would the psychological consequences of that, that be and strategic? So the Russians are trying to make up their minds about whether they should pull back or not, uh, and the Ukrainians are edging forward carefully uh, because they fear that if they launch a full-scale frontal attack on the city of Kherson, they too could suffer immense casualties. Within the city itself, the, the, the question that's bemusing everybody at the moment is what are the Russians doing with the civilian population? Is there an evacuation, in inverted commas, deportation, as Ukrainians say, going on f full steam ahead or not? Vladimir Putin has been calling for the removal of any remaining citizens for their own safety, he says. Uh, and we've heard just, uh, as you mentioned in, in your introduction just now, that there's a blackout in the city of Kherson. The question is, was it caused by the Ukrainians, as the Russians said, or the Russians deliberately sabotaging the electricity supply in order to force people to leave the city? There are so many questions at the moment, but there's no doubt that Kherson itself remains the key at the moment to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. If the Russians lose it, psychologically, the damage will be immense. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of attention on Kherson for good reason. But in recent weeks, we have also seen Russia strike across the country in yeah. Ukraine, uh, not just in occupied areas. What is life like in the rest of the country right now? Well, it's getting harder and harder because of the blackouts. We, we know that Kiev region is affected by, by blackouts and six surrounding regions. 32% uh, of the power grid is, is down. Uh, in Kiev, uh, where there are three million people living at the moment, many have left, of course, over the, the last few months, uh, the city mayor, uh, Klitschko, has been warning people to consider the, the worst case scenarios. There may be a complete blackout if the Russians, as is expected, continue to try to degrade the power system. In that case, he said, people have to be prepared to evacuate the city. And he's suggesting that those who have family homes in the countryside should consider that possibility. Rob Parsons, thank you so much for that look at this very important story. And we'll be checking in with you later on in the day as well.